Okay, I think I've located the issue, uh, and that's the sprocket drives. Um, this one's the lower sprocket, that one's the upper sprocket. These rods go through to the other side where the sprockets are. Um, these are the actual removables, the actual sprocket itself. But the shaft goes to the other side, and the mount for that is on the other side <coughs> here. And uh, that seems to be firmly attached and is not going to let me push everything through. So it seems to me that the only way we can do this is to take off the cogs on this side, the gears on this side of the shaft. Obligingly, that one has screws, not a circlip. So I guess. That would be a good starting point. Finally made it um, using the big pliers like that and then a small screwdriver you got them both out. The trick is not to drop it and it comes out. There we go. So that's the critical bit there. Taking that out hopefully allows this to come. Of course the other one as I said has got a circlip on so we're going to have to mess with that. I'll just see if that actually allows us to pull the, the sprocket out. And it does. There we go. Ta-da! Okay, well, <laughs> messing about with it for a bit, it's, it's actually pretty obvious that what I'm doing isn't the correct approach. Even if I take the other sprocket shaft out, um, the thing at the back that I'm trying to get out, the whole shutter assembly is attached to these uh, and there's no way they're all clipped. Oh, there's actually a circlet there. Whoa, there is a circlet there. Okay. Big one. Yeah, that would let that come out. Alright, back to the circuit, circlet problem. Okay, we managed to get uh, the lower sprocket off from the front of the projector. Uh, I've got some circlip pliers here, and that was a circlip. Quite a large one, which is good. These are fine for that. Unfortunately, they're too big for that back, back one. So, obviously that all comes out like that. And you can see here from the front... Oh, I'll have to turn it over. So, this is the one we took out. And that's the top one, which so the whole thing will push through now once I get this off, which means the circlip's on the other side. I'm going to have to go into town and buy myself a smaller pair of circlip pliers. Okay, well, we find finally managed to uh, get off one of these cogs. Um, I had to get some, some new uh, circlip pliers. Uh, that was the smallest pair I could get. It is smaller than the original, but it's still a bit too big. I have to file the ends down, but with a lot of jiggling about and messing about with the screwdriver, I managed to get these two circlips, uh, and two there were two, talk about them making it easy for you, off this critical pulley here, which holds the spindles to the upper socket. I still can't get this one off, uh, and I don't need to, to accomplish what I, I want to accomplish, that is pull that rod out. Yeah, however, it might be a bit of a problem when I come to try to put those circlips back, but we'll worry about that at the time. I want to turn this round so that you can see uh, the thing coming out at the other side. Alright, here goes. I need something to push it, to push it through with. Try a screwdriver. There we go. 
It's going to come out, I think, quite easily. Right, that's the top sprocket off. And now we've got the circlip underneath here to take off. Here goes. Use the original larger circlip pliers to take this off. I want to particular note about what washers there are here, as I, I didn't take any notice of the order when I took the bottom one off. So uh, immediately after you pull the uh, upper um, sprocket shaft out, there's a washer. Beneath that is the circlip. Get that out. These are quite easy to do if you're careful. There she blows. Ah! Okay. There it is. And then this should come off. And beneath the circlip is um, two washers. Two washers beneath the circlip. On the top side of on the top side of the uh, film guide, uh, and then immediately underneath the film guide, there's this this spring. Okay, and I think that's it. Yep. So I'll turn the projector over, and we should be able to pull out the whole of the core mechanism and the shutter. Here we go. This is the this is the climax. Whoa! Didn't expect that to be quite so easy. How about that? How about that? I can now mess about with that at my leisure. There's a washer on the inside of that shaft. There we go, that came out from the inside of there. The washer goes on there, there'll be another washer which I think I must have taken off before. Yep, you can see it over there. It goes on the inside of there. So we know what all the things go back in, which is pretty important, I think. Well, partially important anyway. Okay.